Um, and everyone, good day. How are you all doing? And um, welcome to DLM Studios channel. Uh, in this channel, I'll be putting you through all, all BIM tips and tricks and how to use your major BIM softwares. That's softwares used for architectural designs and conservation practices. In today's video, I'll be putting you through how to make use of the Costex software for excavation measurements. Simply hold still and hang on while I'll put you through how to make use of the software. Okay, so us to create a new project, you come down to new building. This is a building project. So just name this practice takeoff. Building code, you can use a um, standard code, let's say one two one. The project should be on default or templates. If you have some templates loaded in, if you don't have templates, use default projects. Leave the building type empty. Based on if you have a project, maybe a previous project that you were going to work in, so you can use based on that previous project. Leave all of this blank. Then now check the dimensions group if you want to check. Make sure you measure in meters. Default height of your build, you can set your default height from here as 3 meters. Then insert. Okay, so it's going to load the interface for us. Now once we are here, this is the interface of Costex, so we are going to load in the drawing into it. Come down here, add drawings. Now this is the construction drawing we will be working with. Now we have our drawing loaded in for our plan. Now let's check for this. We first we will do for every QS software, for measurement software, the first thing we will do is to scale the drawing first. So we are going to scale this drawing to suit the dimension we will be making use of. So we just calibrate this drawing. So we'll pick from this point to the next point which is 9 here. That's here. Pick this. So that's 21.5. Now I don't like using the automatic so I'll just click turn this off. Apply to Y factor. So this will be 21.5 meters. So make sure this apply factor to y axis make sure this is turned off then okay now calibrate the y axis um that's 13.16 that's from this point to the last grid line up here that will be 13.163 okay now we have our join calibrated already Hmm? That's the first thing you're going to do. So once you've calibrated your drawing, and you know that your drawing is calibrated, we're going to start our measurement process. Now come back to dimensions here. This is where we'll be doing our measurements. Hmm? On this dimensions part, we're going to start with stretch excavation, which is the first thing we're going to do. Hmm? So what we're going to do is create a tool, a group for stretch excavation. So just click on this add sign here under dimension group. Once click on this, just name it. Joint excavation. So this should be under substructure. The folder should be substructure. Okay. Measurement should be linear. That's length. Mm -hmm. Should the um, default display should be volume. Mm -hmm. It will measure in length, but it will display in volume. One should be the multiplier. The depth of excavation. That's what we we'll check on in the drawing. Mm -hmm. Then just click on insert. Now that is created. The trench excavation in meter cube is here already. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the next page that shows the structural details. Now this is structural details. The depth of excavation should be around. Um, let me scale this page first. So we're going to measure it. So come back to joins here. Calibrate. Hmm? So let's click on calibrate here. You'll pick from this point to the next point 0 0.675. Now we 0.675. So make sure this is turned off. Okay. Then calibrate the y axis. That's 0 0.23. 0 0.23. Okay. 
now once you've done this is calibrated you can now measure distance using this measure tool so pick from this point here to the base of excavation that's this base here hmm? it's trying to snap okay you see that's 0 0.96 remember I'll still do a comparison video between Plant Swift and Costex. Remember what we had on Plant Swift also. If you check the excavation video, which I'll leave the link to, uh, in the description of this video also, you will see we had the same factor here. That's 0 0.96 once we scaled. Okay, now we've done that. Come back to this page here. So we have a value as 0 0.96. Remember that? That's, so just double click on this trench here. Then the height should be 0 0.96. Hmm? Now we have that already. Hmm? Now we can now insert our new variable and update this. Okay. Now the width for our width of excavation that will be 0 0.675. That will be our width of excavation. Hmm? Then, once you're done with that, just click update. Nope. Just for this alone. Now, come back to these dimensions here. Um, I prefer making use of points instead of line. Hmm? So, it makes your work easier. So, you pick up points here. Hmm? So, geometry and we can turn this off if you don't want it to auto snap. So, you pick your points yourself. And I just turn on geometry to pick every point. Because this is a vector drawing as i is picking the part by itself not a raster image so it's easier for you to pick points so i just pick from this point to this point make sure they are all connected now once we're done with this you can pick the audio many walls also let me turn back this geometry on. So I'll pick all the vertical walls and horizontal walls. So we have exactly 137 meter cube as the volume of our total trench excavation here. Once you are done, you can press enter to cancel or press escape. Hmm? Once you're done, it escapes and it stops the entire process. Hmm? Now we are done with our church excavation. We have the dimension shown here as 137 meter cube. So that's for trench excavation. Now the next one we'll be doing is for column-based excavation. Now for column-based excavation, also we'll come to these add properties. So we'll just name it column-based excavation. Okay, so measurement time should be area, then display should be in volume because we are measuring excavation. The depth should be 0 0.96. Then leave that so that's what we are dealing with because we have our area and the depth. So that's what we'll be making use of in this case. You can always customize quantities in case you don't have the quantities that you need there. But that's what we'll be looking at when we get to further classes and advanced classes. Therefore, yeah, stay tuned to this channel as more updates will be coming up for how to make use of plant swift tips and tricks. Once you click inside, you see the trench has gone off. We have a blank page on our join. So you just pick the point of okay, enter. So all the points of the column base, just pick all of them like this. Enter. Once you pick the four points, make sure the point tool is snapped. Make sure this point is on and geometry is on. That makes your work very, very easy. Now, once all of this is done, you see the volume of, exca of excavation 61 cubic meters and wanted seven meter cube hmm? now once you're done with this, this is how you measure for trench excavation and column based excavation with plant swift software now i'll be taking it to our nrm bill of quantities now what we'll be doing here is within this cost x software we have the workbooks section 
we are going to be creating workbooks for our work now you can always bring create a default workbook like use the default workbook here or in, import your own workbook from excel now we're going to use the default workbook here just come back to add here just come to add yeah just name this hmm? can only speak a rate library we have some rates i have a default rate here so i can only speak my rate library here then leave out of this plan and you come back to column names here can always name the column yeah, India inside by default here or once you've loaded it in. I'll prefer loading my workbook sheet and then making those adjustments. Then for font size, I make use of Century Gothic. You can always change your font font size here. So come down to Century Gothic. Font size 12. And insert. So I have my workbook here already. So we have a description, quantity, unit, rates, and subtotal the factor wipe so once i'm done with this uh, this is my workbook fully ready to work with. and i can just drag in this column based excavation drag to the description so i have my description as column based excavation you can describe based on your bill of quantities your rates you can either put in your rates here or put it back later then click update then for church excavation also just click and drag then update so that is how you do that you can just update this rate here by like coming to this rate section click on this rates sheet i have this complete rates that was prepared by default i have my changes um, column based excavation that is for bulk excavation i just double click update okay this is what i want this just drag into the rate section okay. then you use the rates here update so we have this already if we change excavation just drag this into the rate section then update so we have our rates here okay. so we can always do an auto sum here auto sum sub total you've seen so we have our total let's call this summary this is our total cost of excavation using the cost x software now the next way is to import our excel sheet if you have some excel sheet i want to make use of we can always import your workbooks so this is how we do it come down to add then you see imports workbook from excel which is here you can also import from every other workbook from platform that you have but we'll be importing from excel which is what most country surveyors are used to we have the blank view open just name this leave it as the blank view you can just type in complete B O Q. Then use match formatting. Then use the tabs here. Mm -hmm. Leave everything as it is. Then we can always preview it if you want to. Description. Now on this on the Excel sheet here. On the Excel sheet here, you have to make sure you check some things. Column A is where the serial number is. Then column B is where your description is. Column A is your serial number, column B is where your description is. Just take care of that. So once you come back to Costex here, then your import control should be serial number, which is A. The description should be B here, then preview. Just leave this. Let's leave this back. Preview. Okay. So this is a preview of the bill of quantities. Have our description. Now let's adjust this to into the description once it's in and make it look very neat just click on import now once you are on this page now just right click for here this is serial number right click so you can just put code here for your quantity right click name this code quantity next part is units the next part is rates then here is amount as total. Hmm? Then import. So to import the complete bill of quantity, I only double click this. Hmm? So it's this is a complete bill of quantity here. We have our serial number. We can just adjust this to this point here to make it look neat. Just control X, control V. Uh -huh. 
so we have our bill of quantity imported directly from um excel they can just make some adjustments to this sheet here for this part here you can make this auto sum just turn this on subtotal of everything above it hmm? i just used to get the subtotal of everything above you have your markup you can click your markup and the likes so for now we'll be making use of just the trench excavation quantities now we have the trench excavation and we have the pit excavation so you can just drag this for trench excavation down to trench here i just need the quantity that's the volume you see quantity type should be volume to decimal place you can just make this whole number so there won't be any decimal place be an old number then just click update this is it here you've seen this meter cube the cost so this should give us the total here also our quantities here can just be, now be equal to cell e9 e8 times cell c8 So have our quantity here the total amount which is here hmm? so that is for this now for column based excavation click this drag to quantity here volume or number please note then update so the cost of this should be equal to e6 that's this cell e can you see e then six e6 that's the name of this cell here Hmm? That will be equal to this times this. Hmm? So that will be equal to E6 times times C6. Enter. So have our quantity here. This is how you measure for the cost of that's total amount for trench excavation by importing a previously described bill of quantities from Microsoft Excel. Kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and info on how to use BIM softwares. Thank you and have a lovely day.